damage there. Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, from what I could tell, there were definitely some branches of some kind yeah. down. So uh, we did have severe weather uh, mixed in with the flooding. We've been primarily talking about the flooding because that's where the danger continues. But mm -hmm. we certainly had some hail that was reported today and some strong winds. And look at some of these rainfall totals that we're going to put up for uh, today, uh, where we had over 12 inches of rain in the Huntsville and the Walker County area. Willis had over 10 inches of rain. Goodrich, Goodrich at nine. And again, you can just see the numbers as we continue continuing to uh, just see such high numbers and that that water's got to go somewhere and it fell so quickly uh, it's going to try and get into our bayous and our rivers and that's what we've been talking about with the river flooding as being some of the issues and we're going to dive into that a little bit more here in just a second but as far as right now though the Fox Red Storm Seeker radar is quiet uh, the temperatures are somewhat mild it's going to continue to be muggy uh, and we're going to see the potential for some more rain in the forecast and this is our radar estimates on what has happened over the last five days. So again, you'll just notice that Walker County has just really been painted solid there with these numbers that are well over 10 inches of rain. Uh, and overall, they are the ones who have received the most rain. But look at all these, the, the pinkish shading that uh, rolls back down towards Liberty County. Again, some very high numbers for some rain. If you're south of downtown Houston, just haven't seen nearly as much. But if you're in Montgomery County or north, we've just seen so much rain and it's just going to have to get it eventually down into the Gulf of Mexico. And unfortunately, that's going to create some problems on the way. So as far as what we're still facing right now that we know for sure, we've got river flooding with the Trinity River, as well as the east and the west forks of the San Jacinto. Those are primarily going to be folks who are aware of what's happening because this is something that is somewhat regular when there's been to be that much rain across the area. But all of the, the warnings that we have right now, which is these green boxes that you see around, those are all associated for rain that has already fallen. And then we see the watch, the flood watch, which is the green shading for the majority of our counties, including Harris County, just really our coastal counties that are kind of left out of the watch. Uh, that will be through tomorrow at 7 p.m. And again, primarily that's going to be uh, because of the rain that is in the forecast that's still going to be happening tonight and tomorrow. 76 degrees in the downtown Houston area, a little breezy with southeast winds at 13 miles an hour. The skies are pretty clear whether where you live out in Angleton 75 degrees a few clouds in the sky 77 in Sugarland and spring right now with those winds around 15 miles an hour with 75 degrees we're seeing some cloud cover in our future cast but wait it takes a little longer and we certainly will enjoy this break but look at how strong these downpours are in our future cast as we start to look at even three or four o'clock in the morning and then they're going to sort of spread around to the east and then all of us can kind of get some in on some of the action as we move through the morning. Eventually we get to the afternoon and this should begin to break up a little bit, but our modeling has not been great over the last 24 hours. So especially because there's some hesitation or less confidence in some of our, our, our modeling, that's why we're definitely concerned with uh, some of those uh, features that we're seeing. So real quick on the river flooding, this is the West Fork of the San Jacinto. What I need you to be able to read out of this is this is the current river level. This is the river level once we get into Saturday. Same thing with the East Fork current river level. Here's that river level. Major flooding expected over the weekend. So our forecast will certainly be supported. It will be good, but what's already fallen is where we run into some problems and we're looking at some rain chances through the weekend. And then once we get out of the weekend and in the next week, we drop those rain chances. But look how the temperatures bop, pop up into the 70s uh, to the 90s. And we're going to have some feels like temperatures even in the 100s. We'll be right back after this break.